Welcome to Centonis Art Productions. Today we're going to be doing another winter camouflaging episode. Uh, last episode we showed you how to do a smock and a helmet cover using bed sheets and pillowcases that you could find. Today we're going to be doing whitewash of the helmets. And the, you could do this to vehicles, you could do it to helmets, you could do it to weapons and other gear that you wanted to camouflage against the snowy landscape that was the eastern front during the winters. So we'll get into what you need here, and I'm going to go murder some cats. So for this, you're going to need a helmet, some sort of chalk, some sort of paintbrush, something to smash your chalk with, another helmet, and then you are going to need water as well. So the first thing we got to do, these have been used in a couple films recently, is clean them off. So we're going to give them a nice wipe just so that they are, have a clean surface for when we try to adhere the chalk mixture. This one is an original finish helmet, definitely got some damage to it. And the good benefit of using this mixture is that it washes right off. So you could paint your helmet white, but then you're just going to have a white helmet. You can paint, the benefit of using white wash, you can do it in the winter time and washes off in the spring. But you might have to apply it a few times per season as it, you can see from original photos and even just the other times I've white washed helmets, it comes off really easy when you put it in snow. So you can definitely do a few layers if you have the time and want to. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put some chalk in here. We're going to crush it up. And I just have Crayola chalk. Whatever chalk you want is fine. I, I would maybe even try like the chalk you can get for baseball stadiums because that's already in powder form. Then you don't got to make your own powder. But you can definitely get out some repressed rage if you need it. It's kind of like a therapy session. this into a nice powder form. Alright guys, so this is about two sticks of chalk right now. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water and this is where it gets a little tricky because you don't want to add too much water otherwise you got to start over. So I may have, may have already added too much water. We will see. So as you can see, we have kind of a watery paste right now. So I'm going to add another thing of chalk. And you can see it's kind of stuck to here, which is the downfall of crushing your own So, once you're satisfied with your chalk mixture, you're going to take your brush and you're just going to brush it on. And it may seem a little weird right now, like it's not really doing anything, but if you give it a little bit of time, and don't worry about your strokes, that's it'll be okay. But if you give it a little bit of time, it will look much better. 
might look like it's not really doing anything right now. But let's give it a little bit and I will show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to finish up these helmets and I will show you what they look like after. Now we'll do one with one coat and one with two coats so you guys can see the difference. Okay guys, uh, the reproduction got two coats, and this one got one coat, the finished one. So, uh, I just finished this about three minutes ago, so I'm going to probably watch some Netflix, maybe Battle of Narvik, and let these dry, and then I will show you what they look like afterwards. Alright guys, they still have a little bit more drying to do, but I honestly think the one coat but the finish helmet looks better than the two coat, but we'll let them dry and we'll see. But yeah, as you can see, it's that easy to do a different variation of camouflaging your helmets. So, as always, don't forget to stay tuned. We'll see you next time.